Hi guys, welcome to ColorMeCreativeArt.com. I'm Jessica Sanders. And so I told you before that we were going to try out pan pastels on different types of mediums. Thank you to Creative Art Box for sending me these pastels to try out. I'm really excited about it. Um, the pan pastels are really interesting and different to work with than what I usually work with. And so it's a lot of fun to test them out. So what I've done is prepared a page with mediums and all of these mediums are dry and I've just tried different mediums that you might commonly find plus I wanted to try this mixed media paper that's in my journal. So I'm just going to take the pan pastels and swatch over them. Just take a light, two swipes I think, and then spread it out. Now I knew already that this would work fine on the mixed media paper because it does have a little bit of tooth. It's no problem there. See, nice, get a nice little thing there. A lot of fun. Okay, but what I didn't know is how it would work on all of these mediums. Um, after my paper test, I did know that it will work on just fine on the mixed media paper. So what I've done is I've laid down a coat in the circle of golden heavy gel, a matte version, not the shot, not the glossy. And I'm going to just see how it, it's not an even coat. So there may be some texture showing up. Okay, so here, here, okay. Let me go over a little more because I want to emphasize something I can see happening. Okay, so if you see this little area here, this dark area, that's where there is no heavy gel, okay? It does adhere to the heavy gel, but it's not, as you can see, as... I don't know, it just goes on a little more thinly on the on the heavy gel. And then it picks it up there on the edges of the paper. You can see that it's darker. Okay, and then the golden light modeling paste. This also has texture. Just wanted to try that out as well. And I can feel my tool catching on there, which is what I expect. So I'm trying to go really easy. Now let's see it can pick it's picking up some texture there. And I'm not sure how well you can see that. It's it's not just picking up the texture of the gel, but it's picking up let me put let me rephrase that. It's not just picking up the texture that I left behind, but it's picking up the texture of the modeling paste itself. So, but it still goes on nicely. You can use it for that. Just need to know that it's going to pick up texture like that. It's going to catch on the edges because, like I said, I intentionally left this. Let's see what happens. Intentionally left texture in here just to see how it would work. This is a test. Okay, so uh, we've got some texture going on there. Next, I tried the super heavy gesso. And I also have a little bit of texture on there, and I can tell it's smoother than the modeling paste. Let's just swipe it on. Now you can see that line that I left in there very easily. And also, just like the, like the heavy gel, when I get to the edge of the medium, the paper is actually grabbing it more than the medium itself. Okay, that's the super heavy gesso. I guess we could try some orange. Again, so you can see the edge. Because of where the paper just grabs it more than the than the gesso does. Okay, this is coated with matte medium. Just normal, regular matte medium. And only part of it, as you can see, and you can see it picks up the texture as well. And so now I want to move on to the ceramic stucco medium. Now this is a very rough medium, and I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm concerned that I'm going to ruin my little tool there, so I'm going to switch to this makeup sponge, just to be sure, because this is very, very grainy. It's just like stucco. So here we go. What happens? 
yeah, see, you can really hear the texture, see it, it's even, yeah, I'm glad I switched tools. Um, it does grab it. You can see, actually, it's darker. So it's like, for example, here, the paper grabbed it more. But in this case, the stucco medium is grabbing it more. So you can get some interesting texture that way. Okay, and then I also have natural sand medium, which I expected to be similar to the stucco. It has a sandy texture. See? It's not the same. Look at that. It actually doesn't pick up as much. Wow, I'm surprised by that result. I thought that it would be very much the same as the ceramic stucco, but it's not. It actually doesn't pick it up like the stucco. Hmm. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Now I have... Um, a couple of things that I was going to try. First off, I was going to show you how Versamark ink works with it. So I've got my Versamark stamp pad. And I've got some stamps here. I've got some trees and some little deer and hmm, trying to decide. I have a small space, so let me get a small, small. How about we do the deer? Does that sound fun? Let's do the deer. All right, so I'm just going to ink it up. And I'm just going to making it up pretty well with that Versamark ink. Now, this ink is clear, although I have some other colored ink on my stamp pad, so you might see it. So this is how you can get some fun effects. I've already done this before. <coughs> Excuse me. Still recovering from that cold. Um, so you stamp with the ink. I'm just going to that off a little more and then what you do is you take your tool you stamp with your ink and then what you do is you take your tool in this case I'm going to use the makeup sponge and you can just glide over that and that sticky Versamark ink is really going to pick it up so you have a cute little sort of special effect there I mean I can go back with the green if I wanted change it up a little suppose I should put the green like it was on the ground right but no I don't think that way okay go back with this there now I have a green sky okay so <laughs> you get the point it's a lot of fun to do that so I just wanted to see how that would work and then I had one more technique I wanted to try which was I wanted to put put this pastel on the paper and see what it looks like with glass bead gel on it. So, I'm going to put this on the paper. I'm going to put the orange also. And then I'm going to put some of this. Because I also want to see how this works. And I'm going to smudge it out a little. I had a lot of fun smudging it out. My fingers are already dirty though, so it's a little, little, I don't know, mixed up. Okay, now let me grab my glass bead gel, and then we'll see how it works. Okay, so I've grabbed my glass bead gel, which I just love this stuff. It's so fun because it makes, it just reflects the light through it. So, you know, that's why I wanted to test it, because I just wanted to see how it would work. I'm just going to put it across here. And now, guess what? I have to let it dry. So, I will be back in a minute. Okay, so while we're letting that dry, I thought I would do a quick test of the pastel stick because, you know, it does act a little bit differently than the pan pastels. It goes on thicker. Um, so, I just thought I'd do, while well, that's drying, a little quick test and let you see how this works on, on all the different mediums. Mixed media paper. More intense because it goes on heavier. Now let's see on this. Yeah, I don't think that works very well on there. I mean, it works great on the paper, but it's kind of uh, really just kind of comes off on that heavy gel. 
Now I think this would be good for picking up texture. Oh no, it's going on really nice. Really nice. I can just put that right in there. Yeah, okay, so it works great on the modeling paste. Now let's see on the heavy gesso. Now you can see I'm smudging it in, but I don't know. I don't know what else to do with it. Okay, so that's really not working very well. I see see it's coming off. Just didn't leave. Uh, I mean, a little bit got on there, but mostly it's just coming off of the heavy gesso. Okay, matte medium. Also good for picking up the texture. But it didn't go anywhere except the edges of the matte medium. So you can see it doesn't go down into, it doesn't work its way into the matte medium, unlike the pan pastels, which have colored it completely. Okay. Then we have the ceramic stucco, which is most like, probably, this is probably most like pastel paper. It has that grainy, grainy texture. So, I mean, it works. Look at that. Fabulous, right? Okay, now let's see the natural sand. Natural sand, let me just try it here. Okay, so these work fine on the sand better than the pan pastels. The stick pan pastels work better on the sand texture. Um, but really, they work better on the stucco texture, too. Okay, this is for some mark that doesn't matter. And this is still drying a little. Let's see. Okay, so you can use this. It doesn't pick up the color is still drying but if you can see the edges um, I'm hoping you can see the sparkle that's in there and how it reflects and picks up the color and so you can use this um, glass bead gel over pastels you know that's just a totally off the wall thing that I thought I would try so <laughs> okay so there is my test and out of all of these things as far as the pan pastels I probably, probably would hesitate to use them on gesso. I probably wouldn't want to use them on the um, heavy gel. And then depending on the effects, you might want to use it to pick up highlights on the matte medium. It's, you know, they, mm, you may stick with the pastel sticks for the ceramic stucco, but it does, it does work, but it's just not as vibrant as I really wanted it to be. Um, okay, and then the natural sand, depending on the effect you want, if you want this kind of highlighted area in your page, then it would be great. You could put it on there and maybe with a stencil or something, and it would kind of resist a little bit. This way it seems to me that it resists a little bit the pan pastel, and then you could go back with the soft pastel if you wanted to and really work that color in. That's really nice. Um, and then we did the Versamark trick, which is so much fun. You can make little drawings appear. Just like this one I did for my Instagram. Uh, and like this one we tried. And then just, like I said, an off-the-wall kind of idea. Like, oh, well, what will happen if I put glass bead gel on there? Will it still be sparkly? Yes, it is. So I hope you have enjoyed this little exploration of Pan Pastels and different types of mediums. And again, I want to thank Creative Art Box for sending me the pan pastels so I can try them out. And if you're more, if you're interested in Creative Art Box, you can check out the link below. A lot of fun. So thank you so much for joining me and let me know uh, about your exploration with pan pastels and different types of mediums. Maybe there's a medium that you've tried that I didn't try here that you want to tell me how that works or maybe there's a medium that I didn't try here that you would like to see me try I also love to do that okay so if you have something just leave it in the comments below I do my best to answer and thank you again for joining me I'll see you next time bye bye